We're seeing that now. Yeah, we definitely are, especially if you are in our desert community. So we've been seeing the bulk of that precipitation moving through Las Vegas this afternoon, pushing across Kern County. But as of right now, it looks like a lot of the action is over Phoenix. They are tracking some flood warnings in those areas, but you can see still some light to moderate rainfall. That's going to be that yellow color that you're seeing on your screen, pushing through the desert mountains and into our foothills. Could be seeing a few sprinkles in Bakersfield as well as we head into the early morning hours, but doesn't look like we're seeing any heavy rain falling potentially just in the eastern portion of the desert. But we'll see this continue into the early morning hours, maybe around 7 a.m. on Friday, but then that system going to be pushing off to our east. So by the time we head into your Friday evening, we are going to be seeing those clear skies and thankfully slightly warmer temperatures for us here in Bakersfield. You can see that low pressure system pushing over Las Vegas as well as in Phoenix, and that's going to be clearing out by Saturday but we are tracking another system pushing down from the Pacific Northwest. This one going to be much cooler than the tropical system that we've been feeling the past several days. So we are tracking the chance for some snow in the mountains as we head into early next week. Before that, still looking at relatively calm winds. So air quality is actually going to be in the moderate range tomorrow with an AQI of 68. But with that next system tracking the chance for some light rain falling on Sunday and then those showers start Monday, Tuesday and will be diminishing on Wednesday. Like I said, this is a cold system. So the return of the 50s on Tuesday for your St. Patrick's Day and the first day of spring next Thursday, a high of 63 degrees. So actually going to be below seasonal for that. But tomorrow looks like it's going to be the warmest day of the week across Kern County. A high of 65 in the Kern River Valley, 57 in Tehachapi, 55 in Fraser Park. And then if we take a look for your Monday and Tuesday forecast, those overnight lows going to be below that freezing point. So the potential for some snow along the mountain passes, something we will be keeping a very close eye out for. Yeah, that can always be an issue if it ends, yes. if it ends up happening. That's always the big issue. Snow yeah. along the mountain passes and overnight lows. Did I do okay? Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm doing right. Learning. There's nothing to cover.